Hello and welcome to the first part of the Marisco video tutorial series. In this video, we will introduce you to the Marisco method and its associated software. Marisco stands for Adaptive Management of Vulnerability and Risks at Conservation Sites and was developed by the Center for Econics and Ecosystem Management of the Eberswalde University of Applied Science. The Marisco method is based on the open standards for conservation of the Conservation Measurement Partnership, but differs in its consistent implementation of the ecosystem-based approach and a stronger consideration of the social components of social ecological systems. While the initial focus was on protected areas, the method has been opened more and more over the years and made usable as an ecosystem-based and participatory diagnostic for the holistic management of landscapes. In the process, the social components of social ecological systems became increasingly important, necessitating an expansion of the method. The revised version, Marisco 2.0, comprises seven phases with a total of 30 consecutive steps. During phase one, the expectations for the application and the motivation to carry it out are recorded. Furthermore, the geographical scope of the analysis is defined and an initial management vision for the study area is formulated. In phase two, the focus is on people. The starting point of the analysis is human well-being, which is influenced by social services which in turn are provided by social systems. At the conclusion of this phase, ecosystem services that are also contribute to human well-being are identified. The result of this and all subsequent phases are presented in a systemic situation model. Phase three focuses on ecosystems and components, which includes both natural and anthropogenic systems. Their state is described using key ecological attributes. In phase four, a problem analysis is conducted by describing and assessing the condition of the social and ecological systems in the study area using stresses, stress drivers and underlying factors and causes. After the problem analysis is completed, phase 5 identifies and analyzes existing management strategies and develops complementary strategies. The plausibility and effectiveness of the strategies are tested in phase 6 using results webs. These serve as a starting point for the development of monitoring and management plans, which are created in Phase 7. The implementation of these plans is also part of the final phase, as is the management of knowledge and non-knowledge. The aim of the software is to provide users with a tool that guides them through the steps of the Marisco method, as well as documenting results and preparing them for knowledge management. With innovative functions, the decision system should help users to evaluate the plausibility of the effectiveness of strategies and management approaches. The sequence of steps in evaluating the effectiveness of existing or planned management measures is designed to broaden the user's understanding of the problem and to increase their competence in dealing with complexity and uncertainty based on existing knowledge. In the course of the application, concrete products are created that can be used by the users for the analysis, planning and management of their project.